Feeling good though. Like, let's get into this look, these braids. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm finna go to bed after this, so that's why I got on my pajamas. I ain't gonna get fine just to talk about if some shoes fake or not. Like, that's just not what I'm gonna do, okay? So, appreciate me like this. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Riri, and today we're gonna be talking about Stock X. I've been hearing a lot about Stock X, so many questions about Stock X, and I wanna answer these couple questions for you guys for people who are skeptical about ordering things off of Stock X. Me personally, I've ordered mm, half of my shoes off of Stock X, so I think I know a little bit about this website so without further ado let's get into the video question number one what is stock x stock x is a website that sells pretty much any pair of shoes that you can think of is going to be on stock x website whether it's the new release shoes shoes that aren't even released yet or shoes from 10 20 years ago more than likely nine times out of ten is going to be on the stock x website so let me explain this to you guys no stock x does not sell fake shoes but let me explain to you how you could potentially maybe just maybe slim chance that you probably could receive a fake pair of shoes from Stock X. The fate of your shoes are in the hands of the Stock X crew. It's very possible that it could happen. Like literally, they're rushing or they don't feel like doing their job or they're not paying attention easily. They can let a fake pair of shoes go by. I haven't received any fake pair of shoes. Thank you, Lord. But um, I've actually seen people say that it happened to them unfortunately but i think stock x has cracked down on their system and made it so that it is borderline impossible for that to even happen how many shoes have i bought off of stock x me personally i've bought majority of my j's off of stock x which are from here on down about 20 plus pair of shoes a couple of my air force ones and i have a couple of vapor maxes that came off of stock x so I say about 25 plus pair of shoes. Something that I feel like you should be aware of is if you get a shoe that you're unhappy with, the only way to get rid of the shoe is if you resell that shoe yourself. Stock X does not do returns. These denim sixes weren't what I thought they were going to be. Um, I ordered a light and dark denim shoe, but the display clearly shows a light and dark denim shoe, but I received this all light shoe, so it just wasn't what I was expecting. So this is the time where I tried to return this shoe and I learned that day that you cannot return shoes. Only way you can get rid of the shoe is if you resell the shoe on your own. Would I recommend anybody shop Stock X? Absolutely. Stock X has all the shoes that aren't even released yet on there, has shoes that are new releases. Stock X, that's the way to go. If you want that shoe, buy it. Stock X. Highly recommend. Let me explain the shipping process of Stock X shoes. Basically, like I said, Stock X has to wait on the seller to sell that shoe and give it to them. So the seller will ship the shoe to a Stock X facility. Once it is shipped to the Stock X facility, Stock X will verify that shoe, make sure that the shoe is 100% authentic. Once that is said and done, they send it to you. So it is a three step process, but honestly, my shipping process is never been past a week. I always get my shoes within a week. It's never been any longer than that. So a week isn't that bad to me. It'd probably be bad for somebody else. But if you want a shoe and you got an occasion coming up and you want a specific shoe, I would recommend you buy that shoe probably two weeks prior just so you can get your shoes in time. The shipping process is great. They keep you up to date on everything. They email you every step of the way to let you know where your shoes are. So StockX is the way to go. I think that's really cool. Another thing I'm going to show y'all is probably like that one or two pair of shoes that I received in StockX where it had a little bit of flaws that I didn't like. Um, I think it was my smoke grays and they're back here. By the way, my smoke grays, I've never worn these yet. I didn't like, if y'all can see that, this. Do y'all see that? I didn't like how that shoe was like creased up like that. These shoes cost too much to be creased up and scuffed up like that. I didn't like that. That's like my only, um, probably bad experience I got from Stock X. These shoes was a little expensive. I spent $350 on these shoes. So I would appreciate if my shoes weren't creased. But yeah, that was like one of the things I didn't like about my StockX experience. This pair of shoes are the uh, Pinksicle Lates. Um, this was a kid release shoe. Um, these are another pair of shoes I got from StockX that I kind of was like, uh, I wish they would send me another pair. Mind you, I haven't worn these yet either, but 
I'm gonna give y'all a close up as to what I mean. These shoes came out in 2019. I don't know if you could see it. You probably can't with all the lights, but these shoes are yellowing. And these shoes came out in 2019. So it's probably real crispy in the camera, but in person, you can see the yellowing. That was another downside to getting the shoe from Stock X, but like I said, it's not terrible, but I wish they would have sent me a crispier pair. <laughs> But yeah, I got them and um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal. I think this shoe came out in like 2019 or 2020 if I'm not mistaken. So I don't see why the shoe is already yellowing. That's the only downside to this shoe. But other than that, all my other shoe experience have been great. Story time. So there was one time, which is actually my most recent pair of shoes that I got, which are the Citrus 11s. I'm gonna show you guys those shoes. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Gorgeous, right? These are the shoes that I got where a seller somewhere almost sold me a fake pair of shoes. But StockX was on their job. They sent me an email saying how a seller tried to sell them um, some shoes and it was an issue with that shoe. And they got a new seller to send them the shoes that I needed and they gave me these. So yeah, they clutched. They did not send me a fake pair. They got it together and sent me the right pair of shoes. I had no problems with any, well, I'm not gonna say I didn't have any problems. But they're really minor problems. But other than that, my stock case experience has been pretty good. I haven't had any fake shoes sent to me. Thank you, because if I did, we would have a problem. And this would be a whole nother different type of video. So, my experience has been pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully, I answered some of you guys' questions. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below or write me. Either way it go, I'm going to make sure I get back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe for future content. You're not going to want to miss it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to go to bed. See you later.